First, we will understand what exactly is an intermediate code. During the translation of a source program into the object code for a target machine, a compiler will generate a middle level language code, which is known as an intermediate code. Like we can see in the diagram, the source code can be directly you know, converted to the target code. But instead of doing that, we first convert it into an intermediate code, which is easy to understand for the system. And then we convert it into the target code. Now, why do we exactly need an intermediate code? If a compiler translates the source language to its target machine language without having the option for generating an intermediate code, then for each new machine, a full native compiler is required. Intermediate code eliminates the need of a new compiler for every single unique machine by keeping the analysis portion same for all the compilers. The second part of compiler synthesis is changed according to the target machine. It becomes easier to apply the source code modifications to improve code performance by applying code optimization techniques on the intermediate code. Now, the intermediate code has the following code representation methods, namely syntax tree, postfix notation, and three address code. Now, syntax tree, we'll go over to syntax tree. We will uh, elaborate on it and it will be. So, syntax tree, so what is syntax tree? Syntax tree is nothing more than a context of the parse tree. The operator and the keyword nodes of the parse tree are moved to their parents and a chain of single production is replaced by a single link in syntax tree. The internal nodes are operators and the child nodes are operands. To form syntax tree, put parentheses in the expression. This way, it's easy to recognize which operand should come first. So here is an example. So as you can see that the root uh, is taken, as the equal to sign is taken as the root and the left hand side and the right hand side are taken as two nodes. And uh, each in each parent tree, the uh, operands are used and uh, the operand uh, operands are at the uh, leaf trees. So uh, th this is how you uh, design a syntax tree. And now uh, uh, I will explain the postfix not notation. So what is postfix notation? The original infix notation, uh, as it is given here, is uh, shown as a plus b. But in a postfix notation, the expressions uh, are taken at the front, and then the operand are used. Like here it is given a b plus. So a plus b is translated to a b plus. And no parenthesis is needed in postfix notation because the position and the number of arguments of the operate operators permit only one way to decode the postfix expression. In postfix notation, the operator follows the operands. So here is an example given of an expression that is translated to the postfix operation. Here you can see that the operands are first taken and then the operator is uh, given. So now we will move on to three address code. The first topic I am going to explain is three address code. Uh, the three address code is a type of intermediate code representation and it's very widely used uh, representation because it is very uh, easy to generate and uh, can be easily uh, converted to machine code. So uh, let's see what is exactly a three address code is. So a three address code is a statement involved being no more than three references um, or addresses, which are uh, for uh, operands and result, uh, is known as three address statement. A sequence of three address statements is also known as three address code. Three address statement is one of is of the form x equal to y operand z. So here x y z are the operands which will have addresses or memory location. Sometimes a statement might contain less than three references, but it is still called three address statement. For example, we have taken a statement like a equal to b plus c multiplied by t d. So the intermediate code generator will first try to divide this expression into sub expression and then generate the corresponding code. At the, at the beginning, we have taken from the right hand side c multiplied by d and assigned the value to r1. Then we have uh, calculated b uh, plus r1 and uh, assigned the value to r2. And at the end, uh, we have assigned the value of r2 in the variable a. Yeah. So our three, three address code has at most three address locations to calculate the expression as we discussed earlier. 
but a three address code can be represented in three forms, namely quadruples, triples, and integer triples. Yes, the quad, the first one uh, to representing a three address code is quadruples. A quadruples um, each instruction in quadruples presentation is divided into four fields, namely operator, argument one, argument two, and result. Here we have taken the example which is shown in the earlier slide. That is R1 equal to C multiplied by D, R2 equal to B plus R1 and A equal to R2. And we have converted the uh, three address code into quadruples uh, in the below diagram. So in the diagram, we have taken four columns for operand, argument one, argument two, and result. Uh, in the uh, operator uh, column, we have uh, listed all the uh, operators. And argument one and argument two, we have taken the arguments from the right hand side of the equal sign. And in the result column, we have taken the help, uh, variables from the right left hand side of the equal sign. Next slide, please. And triples is uh, the second way of representing a three address code. Three address code. Uh, here, each instruction in triples presentation has three fields: uh, operator, argument one, and argument two. Uh, we have included, uh, we have excluded the result uh, column from the quadruples, and uh, the result of respective sub expression are denoted by the position of expression. Uh, for uh, the example, uh, we have uh, calculated the triples from the three address code. Uh, in the diagram, we can see there is three columns excluding uh, the result column, and uh, it is uh, quite similar. To, uh, for the first row uh, to the quadruples, but in second row, you can see uh, in argument two, we have taken the memory address directly, not any temporary variables. And here we have assigned the zero, uh, zero uh, memory address. And in the third row, we have taken the one memory address and zero memory address. And in the last row, we have taken the uh, second memory address to assign the value. Uh, myself, Ananda Ward, my topic is indirected triples. This representation is an enhancement over triples representation. It uses pointers instead of position to store results. This enables the optimizers to freely reposition to, uh, the expression to produce an optimized code. Get question number one. Consider the following code segment. X equal to u minus t y equal to x into v, x equal to y plus w, y equal to t minus z, y equal to x into y. The minimum number of total variables requires to convert the above code segment to static signal assignment form is dash. Answer is 10.0 is to 10.0. Get question number two. Consider the intermediate code given below. Here is the code given below. The number of nodes and edges in the control flow graph considered for the above code respectively are option A, 5 and 7, option B, 6 and 7, option C, 5 and 5, option D, 7 and 8. Answer is option B, 6 and 7. Get question number three. One of the purposes of using intermediate code in the compilers is to option A, make parsing and uh, cementing analysis uh, simpler. Option B, improve error recovery and error re reporting. Option C, increase the chances of reducing the machine intermediate code optimizer in other compilers. Option D, improve the register allocation. Answer is option C. Excellent presentation. That's it and very good presentation.